So here's the old steering wheel. You can see this thing's just flat. That's why I needed the tilt part. This is this one's tilt. The back part of this thing. Oh. Uh, probably can't see anything. That's up here. Yep, you can't see nothing. <laughs> I wait till the exposure catches up here. So this is where all the wiring is on this boat. My gauges are up here. With this thing, remember I said I had that long bar that went across. When it went up and down with the tilt, it would it would bump all these wires. There we go. You can see the wires. So hopefully the new thing will fix all this. Let me start taking it apart and see what happens. So here it is with the steering wheel removed. Or the uh, tilt mechanism removed. The old one was set up like this, four bolts, and that's the part that went through. This is the front part. The new one, it uses this plate. It uh, goes through right here. The difference is it uses this template, three bolt holes. So, uh, which would be, yeah, these two lower ones and the top one. So my hole's slightly larger than that. I'm going to have to find the center point where I want this thing and drill some new holes. Uh, those ugly holes up there are going to be visible. I don't think the covering is going to cover it. So uh, let me drill some holes, get this thing mounted, and move on to step two. <laughs> All right, well, this pretty much sucks. Uh, it's this hole, this hole, and this hole. They're so close to the edge, it just kind of grazed in there. This is the only one that I got some meat. It's just the way this hole is cut before. And this one, same thing. It's not an actual hole. There's no way for me to position this where I mount it good. So uh, I'm going to have to really stack up on some washers on the inside and, uh, I don't know, put some to figure out some way to support it so nothing happens but uh, I'm going to try to mount this plate right now and figure this out this is the back side you can get a good look at all the wires I had to put brackets in here to prevent the bolts from sucking through especially this one so I think it's good now I got to run the cable through here hook it up in the back and then uh, do the thing in the front so let me get that started. All right, I just ran the new cable, put it in there. That comes over here. Uh, yeah, right there. Put the pin in. Put the other pin in the bottom. Holds it. Okay, I got my other headlight. This one's a little brighter. Hopefully you can make some of this out. All right, so you can see all my wires here. This is the new cable. My next step is to put the hub onto the cable to connect it. What's got me a little worried here. Hold on, let me find the piece. Um, what the instructions are saying to do is to have your steering wheel, the lights washing uh, upside down, and then you wind it around until the cable comes in. Uh, it'll be on this top one here. And... Uh, there's a spring-loaded mechanism in here that clicks onto the end of this. And supposedly when you do that, the center steering wheel will be centered and straight, <laughs> which uh, I'm taking a chance here. So this is what I got going on. The tilt mechanism has a keyway. Being as I don't have the hub and the steering wheel yet, I got a 50-50 chance of it being right at the top or the bottom. I don't know until I get it. So this thing... The way it's made, it can be upside down or right way up because of the way it connects on to this. I have this, I mounted this and centered it so I can have it one way or the other, you know, and I'd still be right. So the way this connects on to here, you know what I mean? So even if I have this part screwed up, this is still right, if that makes any sense. So uh, I'm going to try to feed the wire into this, get it all mounted together. The only thing I have to do is connect this. 
I'm going to save this for tomorrow, though. i got to go and get the hub and possibly a new steering wheel. I don't know. But uh, let me do all this, and I'll uh, show you the final result. All right, I got no idea if this is going to work or not. <laughs> as far as camera angle, this is what they want you to do. That's it, we're locked in. So this pin, so these pins are used to remove it also, but they just want you to keep that there. All right, so this can be mounted now. <laughs> okay. This is a little awkward. So that's the final install of this thing. Now this thing doesn't move. When I tilt the wheel, this stays in one spot. So hopefully, uh, this is my power bus. See, my power comes in here, this is my ground. That's what all these are, electrical connections. Which is why this is, I don't know why they put all this here. I might wind up rewiring it and moving this stuff out of the way. But uh, I just like yanked on all these two trying to get this thing in place. Once this cable's hooked up to it, it's hard to move. But that's it for under here, as far as installing stuff. Um, the next part is the hub. Alright, something happened to the audio in the last part of that video. I did wind up mounting this thing. Here's the part you pull to make the tilt work. I wound up getting, uh, I ordered a steering wheel off of Amazon. So I don't know how well this is focused, but uh, this is just an inexpensive steering wheel. The hub part is like built into it, so I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, getting it to match up or anything. And the way this is made here, if it's off center a little bit, you can micromanage its position. I thought that was cool, but uh, I'm just going to go with this for the time being. Let me show you the keyway one more time. So here's the keyway. So that's it. I just have to mount that wheel and I'm good to go. So any of you Centurion Dominator guys out there that maybe don't want to go the route I did and did do the whole conversion, I have all the parts here. Uh, I'll have no problem passing this along to somebody who can use this stuff. Here's the original hub. This, this part that goes through it. This is the uh, rack. Which like I said, I think this part, if you get a new cable and you know what you're getting, you can get a new rack with the cable. And avoid doing what I did. And here's the gear that goes through that. Uh, if you are interested in this, hit me up on old Facebook's uh, Centurion Dominator page. I'm always lurking around there. But uh, Friday, I should hopefully get that steering wheel. I'll check in with you guys then.